Hey guys, what's up? Today we have a massive unboxing from the cubicle.us. I'm super excited for everything in this package, so let's just get right into it. So the first thing you might notice as I'm opening this up is that there are two packages here. Uh, they had to split the order up into two packages, but this is all one order, so I want to do it in one video. The second thing is that there are a lot of cubes here. Uh, there's, these are really big packages. I think there are around eight cubes in these. Uh, so I'm super excited uh, to see how they're going to perform. And then the other thing that you might notice is that I'm not at my normal desk. Uh, these packages were so big that I needed to uh, use a different desk so that I could fit them in the entire frame. The, they didn't actually fit on my desk uh, that I usually use. All right, so let's open this one up first. And in here we have a ton of cubes. Let's shove this off to the side for a second. Okay, so first this is the Chi Wuchwe 4x4. Then we have this paper. And some more paper. Next we have the Chi Sail. This is the Chi Wuhua 6x6. I don't know if I already took this out and said what it is. This is the Gans Air. This is the Vulk M, I believe. And that means this should be the cubicle square one. And this, this is the MF3S budget 3x3 from MoYu. And it looks like, okay, here's some stickers. I just ordered a few stickers for some of these cubes. And that is all that's in the first package. Now let's take a look at this next package. So I only have a few other things in here, but they are pretty big. So here we have the Gen 4 mat. Here we have the Yushin 7x7, the Huanlong. This is a really cool looking box. Then we have the Gen 4 timer, and that's it for the last package. Alright, so first let's just take a super quick look at these stickers. Uh, my shades are half brights with a sky blue, and I think I got stickers for the Gans Air, the Chi Wukwe, or Wuchwe, and then the Chi Wuhua. So I'm just gonna go down this line in the front. Uh, over here we have cubes that I'm somewhat excited for, and then I'm really excited for these cubes over here, so it'll just be a gradual progression. Let's try to get these cubes out of the way pretty quickly. If I can get it open, there we go. So this is the MF3S. Comes with a pamphlet. Uh, it's a little dusty, did not come in plastic wrap. So let's get into first turns. So this cube is not too great out of the box. Of course, it's a budget cube, so I wouldn't expect much from it, uh, but it's definitely not performing as well as most other cubes. Corner cutting isn't great, uh, and it's just locking up a bunch and catching a bit. I also don't really like the feeling of it, uh, so it's not very comfortable to turn. I'm not warmed up, so it might be a little bit better than I'm thinking it is right now, uh, once I'm able to turn it more, but it doesn't seem very promising. So let's move on to the cheese sale. All right, so next we have the Chi Sail. Let's just open it up. There we go. This also comes with a pamphlet. And it also feels a bit more bubbly on the outside than the MF3S did. Also didn't come in plastic wrap, so it seems like there's a bit of dust on the outside. That's okay though. Uh, the shades are definitely nicer, but let's just get into first turns. So 
So overall, this is performing about the same as the MF3S did. Uh, it's pretty locky, and I'm not the biggest fan of the feeling. I'm sure that this one will be a lot better when I set it up. I can just sort of feel that in it. It seems like it has more potential than the MF3S did. Uh, and I definitely like the feeling a little bit more than the other one. It's a little bit more pleasant to turn, but it's still catching a lot. So overall, I'm not too impressed with the Valk 3. I mean, the cheese sale, but, you know, it has potential. So next we have the Gans 356 Air. Let's open it up. Looks like we have an interesting tensioning tool here. I'm not exactly sure why there are different sizes, but I might figure that out soon. Uh, and then we have this interesting looking box and pamphlet. It's out of the way. It has plastic wrap. Okay, so it uh, looks like a standard Gans cube, but I haven't really felt many of these, so I'm not exactly sure what it's going to feel like. Let's do first turns. Wow. <laughs> I really like this. Yeah, so I am not a fan of Gans cubes, but straight out of the box, I think this has a ton of potential. Like, this might even become my main. Uh, I'm not sure if it's going to turn me into a Gans person, but I definitely think they've made a ton of improvements with the stability and even just the fluidity of this cube. Like, this doesn't have those Gans lockups that it used to. It has a few of them, but I really like turning this cube. Like, it's buttery smooth. Uh, and this is just out of the box, so obviously there are a few flaws that are going to go away. Um, but yeah, overall, this is a really, really nice cube. Definitely has potential. Um, I will be setting this up to see how it performs, because, I mean, I really like this. Okay, now let's take a look at the Chi Wuchui. I'm not sure if that's how it's pronounced, but I'm just going to go with that for the purpose of this video. Uh, it has mats on it. Let's just open up the box. So I am looking for a new 4x4, uh, my Aosu is sort of dying on me a little bit, um, so I'm excited to see if this can replace it. Let's open that up. There we go. Feels kind of greasy and dusty on the outside, uh, but that's okay. Shades are pretty nice, I really like the Chi shades. Not a huge fan of the orange, but that's okay. First turns. So out of the box, I'm actually not too impressed with this cube. I've heard a lot of really good things about this, uh, but I think it definitely is going to need some breaking in. It could just not be for me, or it could just be that I really need to set it up, because right now it's catching a lot, and it's kind of slow. I just don't really like the way it feels either. But uh, I sort of had similar impressions of the Chi Wu Shuang, I think that's what's called, the 5x5 out of the box. It was really catchy. And now it's one of my favorite cubes that I own, and I love the feeling, and the catching has gone away. So it could just be a characteristic of the bigger Chi cubes. So I'll definitely see if that improves with time. Okay, I just noticed something really weird as I was solving this. Uh, the color scheme's wrong. Uh, as you can see, it goes blue, red. I mean, it goes white, red, blue, instead of white, blue, red. So that's definitely going to be a problem. Uh, I'm not sure if I was planning on restickering this right away, but... I'm gonna have to if I want to solve on it. That's kind of annoying, but uh, that's okay. I'll just move on to the next cube. So this is the Chi Wuhua 6x6. Let's open it up. Kind of curious if this has the wrong color scheme as well. No, this one's right. It has white, blue, red. Uh, let's open this up. has the same shades as the last cube. Uh, I'm also sort of looking through for a new 6x6 because my Yushin Red is also kind of dying on me. So hopefully this can become my main. 
It, the Yushin isn't terrible right now. I still really like it. Uh, it's just sort of slow for my preference. But let's just get in the first turns. Okay, I really, really like this. This is super smooth, and it's a pretty good speed. It seems a little catchy, but for out of the box, this is like 20,000 times better than my Yushin Red was. Of course, the Yushin Red, he has to do the Spring Swap, but still, like, I think this is probably almost as good as my Yushin Red already. Maybe better, because, like, this is really good. Yeah, I'm really liking this. Corner cutting is decent. It definitely seems to flow a lot better, at least on the outer layers. Then the Yushin, I'm not so sure about the inner layers though. I'll have to do some solves on this. I definitely see a lot of potential in it though. Okay, next cube. This is the cubicle square one, I believe. All right, I'm just gonna open this up from the bottom. There we go. All right, I am really excited for this. I kind of want to get into square one a bit more. Um, but I'm not too satisfied with my current square one. Just a regular T uh, without the low mod, so I am very excited for this. Looks like they've restickered it very nicely, too. Alright, I really like the way this looks. Seems kind of greasy, though, but that's okay. Anyway, first turns. Yeah, this is really good. Uh, I think that, as of right now, my other score one's probably slightly better. Uh, but I think that's mostly just because I'm not used to this. I definitely noticed when I first tried a score one with the low mod that it was a little bit difficult to get used to it because I'm sort of used to a more a rougher turning style, I guess, uh, with the how unstable the other one is. And I'm just not used to the the stability and sort of put together put togetherness of the low mod. Uh, but I definitely like this, and I think it'll probably become my main. I have a competition this Saturday with Square One, I think, so we'll have to see how that goes. Okay, I am super excited for this. This is the Valk M, so let's get straight into it. Sorry about that, my camera cut out the part where I was opening this, but uh, just open the plastic wrap up. I really like magnetic cubes, and uh, I've tried the Valk M at comps, and it's really nice, so I just really want to get into turning this. Stickers look nice, everything looks really nice about it. I love this logo that they have for the uh, Cubicle Labs cubes. Uh, of course, this is gonna be really slow out of the box, but let's just get into first turns. Yep. Premium cubes are always really slow out of the box just because uh, they are really gummed up with the lube, so then you have to break it in a bunch to get it better. trying to break this in a bit so that I can at least feel the magnets on camera because um, I think I'm gonna have to get a bit faster before I actually notice the difference right now it basically just feels like a regular Valk but slow I'm still having trouble feeling the magnets in there, um, but I can sort of start to feel the slight click now, uh, but I think it'll take time. Either way, it's gonna be a good cube, I'm sure, so... I should have a review of this cube out, or some other type of video that is similar to a review of this, so definitely look out for that. For the Yushin 7x7, really quick, let's just take a look at this mat. So... 
Wow, this looks really nice. It's definitely a lot smaller than the other one, but uh, I think that could be a good thing, because the other one was really big. I'm not sure if I'm gonna use this as my main like desk mat, though. Uh, but overall, it looks pretty nice. I don't see any reason to linger on this. It's kind of hard to show with all these cubes in the way. All right, now let's show the bottom. It has these rings here. That's for this. Let's take this out. That thing off comes with some sort of pamphlet. And then just take this out. It should work. Yep, it works. So let's try sliding it on there. Which way does it go? Yeah, it goes right. So you do your time, then stop it, and it says the time right on the front. Uh, my other mat and timer were getting pretty worn out, so I wanted to have the a new one, and also uh, these are being used in competitions more often, so it's better to be able to practice on them uh, at home so that you're more used to it in competition. Alright, so uh, this last cube is the Yushin 7x7, and I'm actually super excited for this. Uh, I really like 7x7. I'm not too fast at it. I average around 415, 420, but uh, I definitely would like a new cube in it because uh, the Alpha GT isn't perfect, so hopefully this will fix a lot of those problems. I also heard that the Wuji is really good, but I ordered this before that came out, so I'll probably get that eventually. This is also stickerless, so I'm not too sure how I feel about that. Lots of tape on here. Okay, this is unnecessarily difficult. There we go. Okay, now I can open it. Okay, looks like there are lots of caps here for pieces, I guess. I don't know. Maybe they fall off often, or maybe they're just there for backup. Either way, if they do fall off a lot, then I have a bunch of extras. Get into the actual cube. Lots of packaging. And more packaging. All right, so the stickerless shades on this actually look really nice, so that might not be a problem. But let's just get into first turns. This seems like it's really, really good. Oh, dang. Yeah, looks like the caps do fall off a lot. Okay, let's hope that that's not a problem, because if it is, I could see that being a really bad problem. Overall, this is pretty good, but it seems like it's a little bit catchy. But uh, quarter cutting is pretty good, and it seems to flow pretty smoothly. Cap fell off again. Yeah, I'm probably going to have to super glue that down. Uh, but yeah, this cube is pretty good overall. Alright, so that's pretty much it for this unboxing from thecubicle.us. I've never done this big of an unboxing, and I have to say it was really fun to make, so I hope you guys enjoyed watching it too. If you'd like to see more of these, let me know in the comments, and I'll try to do some more in the future. If you like this video, be sure to leave a like down below, and I'm going to be making some really cool videos with these cubes in the future, so be sure to subscribe so that you don't miss those. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!